What do you want? Hi, Greta. What? Well, the cats are going crazy for some reason. He's right here, right now, looking out the window. <clears throat> Linus! Linus! Well, I feel sick or I have a cold or something. But you know what? That doesn't matter. I'm gonna sketch something anyway. <clears throat> Alright, let's uh, first of all find a clean sheet of paper. So I found a bunch of old sketches. Pretty cool to go through whatever you know you've been doing or just see the progress or uh, work that's been done. So these these are actually pretty recent sketches. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry about my throat, it's all messed up. So let's just use this piece of paper right here. It's kind of dirty. Have some stains or oh, whatever. Let's find a clean one. Just don't know where I have clean sheets of paper anymore. Oh, it's right here under the desk. And there's a kitty down here too. Hey Greta. All right, let's see, what do we want to sketch today? So I looked through the comments on uh, YouTube <clears throat> and there were, I think, there were some comments about uh, exaggerated perspectives or sketch something else than a two-door coupe. I can do that uh, if you want to, but that's still going to be a car though, so... Uh, let's do the like crazy perspective <clears throat> and how to do that well, you can do the the uh, Technique that uh, that we talked about a lot earlier, which is uh, basically sketch everything in an ellipse The only difference is that you just go crazy with the perspective uh, So let's say uh, this is like a uh, like a fisheye cylinder. Does that makes sense. So you have a fisheye lens. If you don't know what that is, uh, you can Google it. It's like a skateboard. Very popular among skateboarders and snowboarders and uh, extreme sports and stuff like that. Which basically, and the GoPro I'm actually filming with right now, but I don't have it in. Uh, fish eye like super wide lens right now because that would just look weird when I sketch uh, but that means that uh, so you have the focus point here this is let's say this is just a cylinder and you want to sketch something in extreme perspective so it kind of warps the whole thing and makes it uh, almost like a like a sphere that makes sense so let's see if we can get some, some, uh, what is it called? Section lines in here. So I guess this would be almost straight though. It's not, it's a bit trickier than to sketch like regular type of perspectives, but, uh, the focus point is going to be here, so the camera is looking straight from where the GoPro is looking right now on this cylinder. And if you were to make it in extreme perspective, this is extreme perspective. And if you were to make it in a like tele lens, tele lens if you have a 2 millimeter lens, and you back up from this uh, product, from this cylinder, and you zoom in, then it will look like this instead. Like a regular old cylinder. <clears throat> something like this so that's the big big difference between um, super exaggerated exaggerated fisheye perspective and uh, regular a bit less dramatic stuff 
but you can pick whatever you want. I mean, it's way more difficult to sketch in a perspective like this than it is to keep it, you know, subtle. Uh, maybe maybe a bit boring, I don't know, but it's uh, way easier at least to start a sketch like this. Like, uh, if you don't know the fundamentals of uh, perspective, then I would not suggest you start with trying to sketch fisheye perspective and, uh, you know, make a front of a car look like, uh, like, like an old school hip hop video where they have like the massive... Uh, let's say it's, a, it's an old Mercedes, so they have the big grill, like taking up the entire the entire uh, field of view here. So bands like that, and then you barely see anything else because it's like curving. It's a f extreme fisheye perspective. It looks kind of cool in certain. I mean, it depends on what you what you're after too. What you're looking to uh, uh, visualize, I guess, or what kind of story you want to tell with your sketch. It's not very useful for engineers. Like if you're working on a project and you give an engineer, and you give an engineer a sketch like this, they're gonna, they're gonna go mad. I like ask you what the, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> because. It doesn't show any, it doesn't make sense basically, it's not, engineers are very, uh, they want things to be very boring and like isometric view, clean and simple, no flashy stuff. And I like to be kind of in between there, so something, uh, sure, make it, make stuff as flashy as you want, but um, as, as long as it makes sense, that's, the, that's what I want to. Make a air intake here. The old school uh, fog lights down here of the SL500 or whatever. Those actually one of my favorite uh, cars is the old R129 chassis SL500. They convertible. It looks, it looks, it still looks super cool. It just looks heavy and not heavy in the sense of weight, but it just looks, uh, yeah, cool. So that's a weird, weird, weird looking Mercedes. Anyway, my point is the perspective here. So if you want to sketch extreme perspectives, Make sure you make it a bubble, so everything like f curves, even though it's a flat line like this, it's a flat cylinder, you want to make it look like it's uh, bulging up or something like that. And you're going to need a lot of uh, perspective grid lines like these to make sense of it. So that was the extreme perspective. Uh, we can sketch something else because this was kind of weird. I don't feel like I, I, did, I don't feel like I got my sketch fix by doing this. So uh, what do we want to sketch now? We could render these things here by just adding some markers on them. So let's do that. Let's add some. I got some orange right here. Looks good. So I'm gonna use these two, and I have something called 44 fresh green. I don't think that's, that doesn't look green to me, but let's do it, let's use it. So let's start by adding the lemon yellow, which to me looks like the, the brightest one, yeah, sure. And first of all, decide where you wanna add the light source, so, and these markers are starting to get super dry, but that's just gonna add some cool effects to this weird cylinder here just keep it dirty doesn't have to be perfect at all as long as you're having fun and as long as you're feeling like you're actually moving forward in your sketching progress that's all that matters let's make it a yellow SL500 
that's disgusting. But anyway, since I'm holding the marker in my hand, then, uh, <laughs> then why not? Very cool. All right, that was the first layer, and let's move on to uh, 44 fresh green. <clears throat> now let's see what that can do for us. Yeah, it works fine. That's exactly what I thought it was going to be. So it's like a dark, a bit darker shade than what we already have. This one is also starting to go dry, but uh, still works. I think it looks good when it's dirty like this. Like I don't want to spend two hours sketching a cylinder. That's just it doesn't make sense. As long as I can visualize what it is I'm sketching. Uh, then I'm all set to have it. Like, for example, these lines here of the markers are outside of the cylinder uh, here too a lot. I just think it looks cool. Sorry if you can hear my, my heavy, heavy breathing in the microphone. That's because... As I mentioned earlier, I think I have a cold. There's something going on. I'm gonna drink some vinegar later. If, by the way, if you have a cold, <laughs> you have a sore throat or something like that, you think you have uh, something going on, just take a shot of apple cider vinegar. This is something that my, my dad used to <clears throat> tell me to do all the time. It tastes it tastes disgusting, but trust me, it will work. Especially if you have a sore throat. It's like the best thing ever. Pills and stuff like that, I hate taking pills. No matter. I mean, if it's an extreme case and I need it for my survival, then I might take a pill, but I'd rather not. So try it out next time you, you feel if you're starting to get sick or you're starting to have a cold. Just take that shot of vinegar. And I can guarantee you will feel better after like 30 minutes when the taste is, has gone away. Um, what am I doing here? Adding the orange, yeah, this one, 24. It's called Man Gold. Uh, add some orange on this bands as well. Sweet. <clears throat> Let's add some black. I think both my blacks are going dry. Let's see. Uh, this is actually okay still. Sweet. <clears throat> you see, when you add the black here, it, it doesn't matter how dirty the sketch was before. But just adding a black baseline and an outline to these um, shapes here is going to make it's going to define the sketch more and it's going to make every, all the mess that you that we made earlier it doesn't matter anymore because we can see where the where the shape ends anyway now let's do the same down here Add a baseline and add a. So why am I adding this line <clears throat> on these two lines here? That's because the sunshine or the light is coming from up here. And uh, that's totally up to you to decide where you want to add the, where you want to put the light source. <clears throat> and that is going to decide where you put the baselines and where you put the shading and all of that stuff. Let's add the wheels here to the to the bands. Fill it in. It's like a sunset golden bends. Fill in the headlights if we want to. Sure. And the grill.
<clears throat> All right, there we go. We have our extreme perspective. Uh, we have our almost isometric view right here and we have our bands. So that's all we need for this sketch, I think. And if you want to, you can go ahead and add, <coughs> add the final lines with a big pen just to sharpen everything up. And if you want to learn more about sketching in general and design sketching, and uh, if you like these kind of videos, go to thesketchmonkey.com and sign up for my newsletter and you get my ebook for free as well. If you haven't done that already, I think you're gonna like it. So go to thesketchmonkey.com and check it out. And I hope to see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe the video if you liked it. Thank you for watching. My name is Maran Bambly and I will see you next time.